yo, yo. What's up? What's going on? I thought you ran over a tiger or something. You were running late. And I was like, oh, no. What happened? <laughs> hey, I was still two minutes before the show, okay? I made it. I made it just in time, all right? I'm not. How often am I late? Not not, no, very, not very often at all, actually. Actually, <laughs> you're, you're early, which is annoying. More than it's not. <laughs> Uh, so what's up everybody welcome to another episode of terror has tuesday no i'm not eating today if you're concerned no. about that i am hungry though i'm hungry <laughs> i'll eat later <laughs> talk is quiet but that is perfectly fine am i low again am i really low uh, don't don't be trolling don't stop being a bunch of don't be like that i don't know if is, is something wrong let me see sound, o- sound okay to me Maybe yeah, it's on my side. Maybe I need to go over here and uh, edit mic settings. No, I'm at 100. There you go. Ox boosted. I it's, want you guys to it better. Guys to out. Is it better now? No. Man, what the heck's up with my... I think it's my Go XLR, man. Like, when once they stopped doing, like, the Windows updates... Like I started noticing a lot of problems. Tell you, man, try that Streamer X thing, dude. I got, I got this. Look, I just haven't put it together yet. Oh, uh, the Steam Deck. Stream, yeah. Oh, is that the, is that the, oh, Stream Deck, yeah. Hey, Stream Deck. Hey, you know those buttons? Yeah. A buddy sent me a picture from Washington. He got one of the smaller ones of that, and for for Hell Divers too, he he put them all tied to his 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 like kill streak, so he just. Are the you button. serious? Yeah, he just no. presses the button to go. It has the picture of it too. Like this is, no, you know, the, like the no mech suit didn't. and stuff. Yeah, legit. Oh, I'm doing that tonight. <laughs> now, now I have a reason to take it out of the box because this because my Go XLR was working fine. There was no point. I was just waiting to see. Like, you know, I'm just not gonna jump straight to it if there's no point in using it yet. But this right. thing is starting to die on me. Like it's it's messing up. Like I just I just looked at the input. The inputs are dying. Like it's it's like keeps it keeps um it keeps uh what do you call it turning off it's just a pain mm-hmm. in the butt so anyway I, I, yeah um let's see yeah low today hawk God I mean what the I'm telling you dude it's this stupid go XLR I turned you up too like twenty percent yeah it's not hold on I or ten it's or so it's so annoying what what if I did this what if can there I do this? Go. Like, I edit it. mic and just. No, I got it. I got it. It's right here. Here it's you right go. Here. Automatic. Oh, I had you on manual. Maybe if it automatically adjusts it, maybe that'll be better. I, I don't know. No, because it's it sounds a little low in my um, in my headphones too. Oh. Mm. <sighs> eh, it's all right. Technical difficulties. Hey, I know a sound engineer. There we go. How's that. that? Is that better? <laughs> I think maybe a little bit better. Okay, sound oh, is fine man. to me. All right, cool. We're good. I increased it to I put it to 30. So if I'm too loud, I shouldn't be too loud. Anyway, I want to get a stream deck for the hotkeys. Is that the new one? Is that new one big enough to go with the or should I go with, or should the, I with the bigger model? That's the that's the I think that's the biggest one you can get because the reason why I got that is because it has the volume knobs on it. I like the new shy silent hug. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's <laughs> funny, man. That's funny. Um, so King, first stayed back to Kansas in a little while. Yeah. I heard good. we had a dust storm, man. What the, I, I didn't really ask you about it. So what happened with the dust storm? Uh I guess it was like over the course of like two days, there was like seventy mile an hour winds and it, it even with the filters, man, it just like pounded dust everywhere. Like the ASIC site got cleaned up like pretty immediately because you know there's um because we lease that so you know that guy he takes care of that so but the gpu side is what we have to take care of so um yeah i spent i like i aired i i literally had to blow everything off because there was dust on everything right blow off everything then like sweep and mop everything and then i started taking down rigs and blowing those out i didn't get them all done today but I'm probably going to do like maybe 20 rigs a day and right. that should get us all like where everybody's clean before I leave. So, yeah, which kind of like kind of st- it's a pain in the butt to sit there and haul and take them down on, and haul them outside and blow them out and then bring them back in. It's 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 kind of a chore. So um, it's, it's a lot of work and, for and one then, person. And then 
you really like it when you put it back on the shelf and then it's pissed in the car. Like, I just, I was just like, I'm like, have this piece of crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's like man. So, remember, remember that remember that R8 that we had where we would we would put the GPUs in. Remember this one? I think it's still at the the Melbourne facility. It's just this one specific R8, and we can't figure out why. But you put the um, oh, I'm sorry. Now I'm too loud. All right, so you put the uh, you put the cards in, lay it flat, right, and then screw everything in, tighten it up, make sure everything's running, right. Turn it off, turn it to the side, and. Uh, it missed like four cards and just couldn't figure out why i found out so far the reason for a cause of a lot of that right there is shorts in the pcie cables that come from Octominer. Really? The last the last two times i've had problems with that and i'll narrow it down to where it's the it whatever cards are near the pcie cable i'll replace mm -hmm. that cable and it seems to do just fine so that's really? okay I'm not saying that's like a hundred percent thing, but it's like, you know, it's something that I've just, I've just tried and it's worked. So, um, I, oh, I used the, I have an air compressor. We have an, a, a like 20 something gallon air compressor there that we use. So we got the, uh, I can't even do like, I can't even really think right now. I, I literally just drive from this facility, but we have one of those, um, it's not a water separator, but it keeps the moisture out of the line. You know what I mean? Right. And then every time when I come here too, because it's sat for a while, like it's sat oh, for two weeks. The, um, what, I'll, what I'll do is, is I'll actually empty out the tank before I turn it on too, right? Because right, I right, know right, it's right, sat right. for a couple of weeks, right? So. Right. <clears throat> yeah. What, what is that piece called that goes on an air compressor, removes the moisture? I, uh, I can't um, think of it right now. <laughs> I had it at my facility because <laughs> in a video that I did when I first had, when I had, you know, my own warehouse way uh -oh. before we started Terra. Uh, we got a super chat here from Crypto Craig. Congrats, Ock, on the 10K. Oof, man. That's that's insane, dude. He, it he, popped. Fucking, he, he, he Hey, listen. Passed it happened, to, really? it happened to Goat on one short. He got like 6,000 subs. Chump got like eight or almost 8,000 subs on another short. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. When videos pop, they do well. Um, so, I uh, what was I, I saying? Haven't. I haven't hit the lottery yet. <laughs> I just, just, you know what, man? It's it's random. But um, what was I gonna say? But no, on one of my old videos, yeah, I remember using the air compressor. Yeah, thanks, the, Craig. I appreciate it. Um, the old tech makes good point. Don't use an inline oiler when you're trying to blow off GPUs. Inline oiler is gonna be for like using like impact tools. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, yeah, don't do that when you're running. I can't remember the piece that it was called though, like. I remember I was on a live stream and I had an air compressor and I was cleaning out a, a couple of rigs and somebody said, Hey man, you got to get that thing that attaches to it. So you don't get the moisture. It takes the moisture out. And I was using just a regular air compressor. I mean, I didn't know any better at that time, but anyway. Uh, and then Tig gig says, uh, my King, you could put like fixed rigs on a pallet jack. I don't have a pallet jack out here. Um, when we do get pallets, it's like, um, we, 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 we call the landlord, he brings over a front loader and then he takes it off for us, right? Um, so, uh, um, plus here's the thing is, is, I like doing it one at a time for two reasons. One, it limits people's downtime. And then two, if when I turn it back on, you know what I mean? And I'm starting to unplug the other one, I'll check to see if the other one came back on properly, right? Like all the cards read and everything like that, right? Because you do like 10 at a time, man. It like, you put them all back on the shelf, you know. And, and also, I have everybody VLAN separately, right? So I have to remember where where every Everybody's Ethernet is right. plugged into, right? Because right. it's like different networks, you know what I mean? So it's just it's just way easier for me to just do them one at a time. It's okay. Yeah. It gets me. I need the exercise, so I'm all right. How are the yeah. uh, how the hot aisles uh, how the hot cold <coughs> cold aisles holding up? They're they're still pretty good. I mean, those things they're, look rock solid, to be honest with you. They're they're doing good. It's it's hot as it's hot as f in there. It's not as hot on on the other side. And then right. uh, thank you, Joker, for the four ninety nine super chat to my number one fan, Joker Miner. Thanks, for, King, for getting my thirty seventies back up. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, like with GPU mining, man, it just it rigs just go down. You know what I mean? Sometimes, and sometimes it's not. It's just sometimes there's nothing wrong with them right it it happens 
it's yeah, uh, I mean, we it's host. What it is. I think I think on this go around we're gonna be like I think we're right around seventeen hundred GPUs, uh, close to it, and. I mean, yeah. there's a, always a small chance of failure with GPUs. I mean, I would think they're smaller than it. The percentage should be smaller than ASICs, but still, you know, you have a, a, a few rigs that just go down and there's nothing you can do about it. So, um, and, and actually, Tonto, I, I only have it at like 70 PSI because the separator only supports like 85. You know what I mean? For the water separator. So I'm doing like 70. And that seems to be working pretty good because it gets out a lot of the dust and everything like that. So, um, yeah. He said know. he was 100. joking. Please don't run 150. <laughs> <laughs> you will break fans. Pellish Miner says, how can I get a t-shirt? Oh, okay. So I know a lot of people want these shirts. So speaking of shirts, I have to create the new Terra shirts. But if you guys are interested, I did last night. King is... I'm going to have to show for five minutes, King. So I'm sorry. Gee, um, we've only I, been on for 15 minutes. I, mean, I know. I know. I know. Wow. Boy. I know. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. That's so. There we go. Is it on screen? Can't see. Is that on screen for me? All right. So I redid my entire shop. Now, a lot of people have been, uh, a few people asked me uh, for like all kinds of different shirts. So I did all the favorite. At least I, what I think is our favorite uh, proof of work projects. I did get permission from Flux to do this one. I have Dynex, I have Caspa, all this stuff, right? But if you want a Terra shirt, um, you just go up here to Terra hosting. And I believe the Terra shirts are still there. You can get one like this. And it's a, um, it's it's the same style of ter shirt like this, but not this one. This one was the Terra industry shirts that we didn't make anymore. But uh, yeah, um, that's a that's a special run just for the uh, for the owners. Yeah, for Terry. yeah, he did this for an event that we had to run to, so I don't have any of these anymore to give. But I have these ones, and it's the same material, next level quality shirts. They're called next level. They're actually really really good. They're a little pricey, but they're they're worth it in my opinion. Um, See, I'm I'm waiting for like a t-shirt company to to make like these t-shirts. These are like the work shirt, the dicky work shirt, super thick. Right. Yeah. That's just that's just the kind of T-shirt I like. I can I have those. I can I could choose that brand of shirt that King likes more of the heavier loose fit, uh, but these shirts are the uh, are awesome. So I did get permission. Now the Dynex one is a little bit more expensive, but that's because of the writing on the back. So actually, Yeti oh. gave me this. Uh, Yeti gave me this design uh, idea when I did the shirt. And obviously, it all it all has the hawk on a, on the on the left sleeve. So, but yeah. If you guys want, I know now I didn't put the hoodies because Chump is doing the hoodies on his store. So I wasn't going to really conflict. But if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll put the link in the chat. Um, you can check it out um, and go look around. I mean, all, all the profits, all the profits from this store, every single thing is direct deposited into my son's 529 account. So I don't see anything. Everything goes straight there. Uh, which is pretty cool. And last night, I think Shay bought like four shirts, man. It was awesome. So if you guys are interested or if you have any um, requests, let me know. I do have the Red Panda Mining Collection Squad shirt. <laughs> so if you guys want it, th this, yeah. dude, this one sold a lot, bro. Like, so many people bought these. Uh, I sold like 20 of these things. It's crazy. Like, but obviously you guys know Panda is our favorite YouTuber and there's people that owe him money. So when you join the Red Panda Mining Collection Squad, when there's enough of us, we're gonna go start collecting. So come and uh, join. So uh, Chump's got some awesome hoodies, man. Awesome hoodies. I need to order a few from Chump actually. So definitely, definitely have to order a few from Chump. Why did Yeti leave Dynex? He didn't leave Dynex. It, I just talked to him today. He's on his way to Dubai. He didn't leave Dynex. Um, Hawk, awesome generational move. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's good just to because honestly, like, it. Um, it's not really that big of a deal for me to take profits off like shirts and stuff. Like, I like it for merch, but I think it's better and it's good to put him in there. Can you get them in extra tall sizes act, asking for a friend? They go up to like two or three XL, man. Like they, they have all kinds of size, um, sizes. Yeti left Misfits. Yeti just, only just started. Talked to him about a week about it. He 
he left Misfits? Are you sure? I don't know. I got to ask him. I just did a... I'm doing an interview with him for uh, a video on some Dynex stuff. Um, but hmm, I don't know. He was hired by them. I, I didn't hear any of that. DJ, what's up, man? Good to see you. Um, so... Um, so, King... Uh -oh. Did uh how did that did you now you sent me some pictures was that what the one unit that you worked on yeah it was, yeah, it was. how did it turn it out I, I didn't even get dude i took a nap honestly yeah. i got up at like seven yeah no it, it's 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 like it's been running for a while now so it's doing good nice it's it's like in seven mid 70s 60s it kind of depends I kind of like the fan curve on these on these machines are kind of weird too like it took a while for it to actually like get the fans to actually start spinning but no yeah it's all good turned um, out turned out pretty good so did you record it uh yeah i did yes all right so tomorrow when are you releasing it tomorrow e yeah maybe <laughs> okay so i won't probably, um, probably but but i gotta figure out how to airdrop i've never airdropped to my macbook I mean, it's I'm, easy all I'm you have to do day. keep open your macbook make sure that you're like you're logged in obviously and then just hit airdrop on your iphone and then it'll search for your macbook and then it'll pop up in the top right corner and you just hit accept and it airdrops from your iphone to your macbook hmm. apple for the win airdrop is mad easy it's mad easy um okay. so 112 people in here right now guys hit the like button i am like just getting up from like a nap dude i was so tired i had to get up mad early this morning uh who's in here is that mr geek of all trades what's up man says on mobile can't tag cleaning up the workshop that's right man get to work joker minus is all crypto a guy joined terror discord bitched in general chat and left i deleted the messages really hmm. what did he say who, who did you get what what was he saying the heck i didn't even see that that's crazy i didn't even see it but thank you for uh making sure the trolls leave it's probably some fake account or something uh let's see here max oh says you still... know what i want to since crypto since we're like live and i know crypto craig's here hey craig i i was uh repasting some boards <laughs> and stuff like that and there was there was i don't know what they are in the hash board i just i just see them as like all those little metal squares that go along it right you know what i mean not the actual chips those had it had like a long piece of like i don't know i, I don't want to call it like tape but it was like a thick piece of plastic with film on it like sticky film and it was going all around everywhere but the just but the chips right like like the actual chips everything else was covered by it so i don't know if that's like typical or was that just like something in manufacturing that should have been taken off you know what i mean not sure might have to maybe send you a picture or something hmm. short protection ah i thought that might be it but i wasn't sure so i thought maybe that's why they covered them you know what i mean that way whatever thermal paste or whatever didn't leak everywhere right and get around everything is would be my hunch yeah it's an adhesive and short protection for some boards no worries yeah, i didn't that's... remove it i i left it you know what i mean i just cleaned as you know i cleaned it as much as i could i just didn't want to take it off because i figured it there was a reason why it was there you know yeah i um I see this um this guy here, Joker. Um, this is it's yeah, it looks like a fake account. Um, I don't know who this dude is. No servers in common. And I don't I don't know who this dude is, so it must be somebody just trolling or something. Uh bad ace. Um I don't know which which person you are. Hey, is that the guy that, that like the box showed up today from was shipped over from uh, a long time ago is that his uh, name i i don't i don't know i have to look um uh, he's he's i think he's joking oh really too many damn trolls in here who stopped coming in you know what i'm gonna increase the joker miners uh wielding power in the terra hosting discord and it's just gonna just drop ban everyone slash ban everybody leave 
we got a lot of people uh, in there right now. There's like, uh, how many people do we have in the Terra Discord? There's, I think there's, there's over, I think there's over 700, 200. over 700 people. That's a lot. Yeah, there's over it's 200 great, though. Octominers, though. Huh? I think it's over 200 Octominers now. Right, no, I'm talking about people in the Discord. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a lot, we have a lot of clients. Uh, nothing can go wrong with that. Oh, this actually, Murphy. yeah, this guy, this, that's what his name came up as. His stuff is actually, his boxes have been sitting there, so. Yep, yep, yeah. he's been waiting a while. Everybody, um, I appreciate everybody that did wait because we did have some issues at the Florida data center which king had to be here for like a week trying to fix and he fixed it thank god after hours and hours of hours of beating his head against the wall finally made a hole so um we got that fixed and then he's headed over there um richie rocket says lol you're turning in the rpm yeah but just 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 I, i'm gonna take the king approach on this just press the red button nuke everything reset just reset life and just start all over <laughs> 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 there was a couple times like we would have conversations and king's like you know what man i just 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 fuck it man just, just let's just burn everything down and let's just erase it and start all over <laughs> i'm down oh my gosh oh my god so so much stuff happening with yeah. tara too like oh I know, my god i know craig so caught my short today i don't know if i told you this but there's a lot of power supplies that were had died in the last month or so unfortunately um, I don't know if people remember this. It's been at least a year or longer, but that last, when Octominer was really last selling a lot of their Octominers, right? There was a bunch of, there was a big batch of bad power supplies, right? Unfortunately, the GPU risers R8s, this thing got stuck with a lot of those power supplies. Oh, so yeah, he had a bad batch of those things, man. Oh uh, we're, we're still actually dealing with it so we do have power supplies on hand but like i just come in and i just walk the rows you know what i mean and when i see some i pull them out and then i replace them right you know what i mean because honestly i when i'm walking behind the rows i don't pay attention all the time to like what all the cards are you know what i mean so i just i want everyone to have all their power supplies up because i mean you could have some 3090s in there for all i know you're mining good power or whatever so um Plus, we just want it there just for redundancy, right? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it is what it is. It kind of sucks. Um, it's definitely not great. Oh, here we go. So, I want King, Alethium, $3.51. It's on its way to $4. Now, I have a sell. I have a, I'm going to hit the sale button or the sell button, excuse me, at $5. I know you have a small bag of Alethium, don't you? E me, yeah, I got like like 300 or so I'm, I'm a lightweight when it came to lithium so i definitely went all in on a lithium at one point and i have a, a pretty decent sized bag and I, at five dollars i'm selling and i'm getting my brand new sony fx3 camera that's my goal it's what i'm doing i'm stick well i could actually sell now and get it but i'm gonna wait till five dollars every this chat let me know what do you guys have do you guys have a huge bag of a lithium let me know in chat and what is going to be your number to sell it now a lot of people are saying a lithium is undervalued and it can definitely hit like the you know 10 20 range easy um zarkov says alpha will be 40 dollars to reach casper market cap oh man i'm gonna tell you somebody asked me today actually would we host the uh the alf box no we don't we wouldn't host something like that it's too, way too low a power that's something you can plug in your your kitchen what? you that's making so much money even if you were at 50 cents you'd still make a truckload of money that thing the birds did, like I no did, power i did the math at a dollar actually so, at a dollar uh, <laughs> it was, it was crazy profit it just doesn't i i don't understand why you just wouldn't run that at home it's what like 180 watts you know what i mean it's, right. it's like nothing so so patrick murphy says friends don't let friends sell alf not even the boron so what i wanted to do was i have about 1500 1600 alf so what i wanted to do was sell at least 800 and keep the other 800 in case for when it pops up to like $40 or something. Uh, Pelly says, all crypto, I set a goal. I set a goal of 100 alpha and reached it to hodl, not going anywhere for at least a year. Oh, man. It's going to be one of those things. I know it. I just know it. I'm going to sell it and instantly regret it. Uh, alpha is my third biggest bag. Sell at $5. No way. Oh, so I should hold it? No. Oh, everybody's saying this is going to be like Ethereum. This, this project i'm hearing a lot of it a lot of it richie rocket says arc block caspa render polka dot 
are his holdings uh plug it right next to the pencil sharpener on the desk yeah right it's that small those those boxes are like really really tiny speaking of those boxes i have the i have the uh, v1 mini wi-fi um why am i looking around like it's on my desk i'm kind of looking for the light thing but um <laughs> i need to repad and uh, i need to like repaste it so i'm going to be doing a video on taking apart the old uh gold uh v1 mini wi-fi from my polo i want to take that out hawk put nice. a few hundred in alf into a n l p earn 80 to 200 percent been on it since october mm. is tara selling those alf boxes yeah i need to put it on the website i need to put it on the website um but they're they're, they're expensive guys they're not cheap they're not i mean i can tell you right now what it'll probably cost let me see uh let me pull it up hold on a sec i think i could probably get a little aggressive on the alethium box all right yeah no guys this is not this is not a cheap <laughs> this is not a cheap unit uh gold shell pre-order alf box 360 giga hash at 180 watts you, you won't even believe what you won't even believe the price it's like sixteen thousand dollars for the pre-order the prices are way up wait i thought it was nine thousand yeah that that's yeah good luck getting that good, good luck getting that and it's up now they, there's all this all the suppliers 16, have increased thousand dollars for a gold show oh my god dude, that's end, so disgusting end, end of end of april that's why i'm debating even putting it on the okay putting it on the website because i don't, I don't right. know who's I'm, gonna buy this I'm, I'm gonna call this right now end of april shipping end of april shipping all right go ahead. like when when the freaking uh when the Bitman comes out, dude, that gold shell is not going to be making me, no. Because no. here's the one thing is, is when they ship all those gold shells, right? The profitability is only going to, it's going to be like a quarter of what it used to be, uh -huh. right? Remember this, whenever they have ASICs yeah. and they're showing off their numbers, that's because there's not a lot of them out there, right? When they mass produce these, it's going to drive the profitability down even more. Right? So, can you made a good point too, though. You said... Well, if gold shells coming out with a 360 giga hash unit, Bitmain's got to be in the Terra hashes, right? Because yep, why yep. wouldn't it be? Because think about it; it's relative. Like, it's an ASIC machine, and how big they are. You could just look at the size. I bet you it's going to be like eight Terra hash or something like stupid, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god! It's going to be not. like 50 grand. Watch. That's insane. Oh. Oh and my then, god, I I hope not. <laughs> oh my eight Terra hash. I hope, Dude, I hope so Panda, many people will jump on that. It'd be crazy. I hope Panda gets one. <laughs> uh, oh, he definitely he probably already got it in the mail. I just told not to say <laughs> anything about it until they go live with it. Yeah, uh, I told you you're a doorstop bitmain quote. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Murphy. Uh guys, tag me in the chat if you want me to read what you guys wrote, because it's hard. Chat's moving really fast. Um but uh I gotta tell you some significant price discovery on on a lithium now i was looking at you know i was looking at raven coin man still holding over four cents which is pretty pretty impressive but dynex is this is that probably not financial advice at all but this is probably a really good buy for dynex at 69 cents did you ever hear this dynex gpu i saw this the other day and people are posting it like it has something to do with it but i don't is know how accurate it is is it just a fork? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's got the same ticker as. Um, well, go to the website. I'm There's afraid. a website associated somewhere, right? There I'm you afraid. go. I'm, I'm afraid. Welcome That's to right. Dynex Empowering Dynex Mining. I don't know what this is. This is definitely like not. It's it's on Uniswap. That's a layer two. I, I guarantee you that it's just the copycat and they're trying to ride the wave and it like started and they just they just sold everything yeah no oh wait did i not share it i'll share this tab instead here we go yeah this is their website um oh hey yeah look look it's gold too see this doesn't make any sense though maybe that, this is like is a totally, different that's totally wordpress and that's that's like an ethereum based address too right there right it has yeah. zero it's, X. it's erc <laughs> on on the on Coin yeah huh. let's see how your iron fishies are doing yeah the, the little little fishers you see having is going to be 420 what the, what is gordon murray talking about um iron fish down six percent today 
nothing uh, too surprising there. You know, we haven't checked in a while. Ergo, I wonder how Ergo's doing. Down three percent, dollar seventy four. Nothing crazy. That is about flux. Let's look at flux. Dollar oh eight. Markets. Market. Looks like the market's down. Everything but. What it. about Bugna? Oh, Bugna. It's not on here. I gotta go to. I gotta go to the Coin Gecko. Coin Ghetto. I call it. You know what I noticed? That it's April, and Radiant, Nexa, and Dynex are still not on Tangent. Oh, what am I doing here? RXD. Um, I, had, I had such high hopes for Tanjum here. I think it's going to happen. I mean, they they they, ha they have delays and stuff. What are we looking at? We're looking at Bugna too, right? Radiant's down too. Um, not even here. It was on, on Mining Pool stats. I think it was. I can't remember what exchange it was on. Let me see. Uh, here's Bugna. Looks like it's down 26% in seven days. Woo. So it looks like a lot of hash rate fell off too. Uh Pellish my yeah, DM Discord for bug. No, what do you what do you got? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Here you go. Uh share this tab. Live coin watch. So a lot of zeros in front. Thank you, Pellish Miner. Um a lot, a lot of, zeros. of zeros. Yeah, a lot of zeros. I, I don't know. Uh, it's just like, like you said, there's you know, we saw this with Ethereum too, though. A lot of people just did a bunch of these forks and nothing, you know. Caspa Classic. What is it? C A S, right? Is that Caspa Classic? Yeah, it is C A S. This is down for the day. Down 24% again. Just just mine and dump. Mine and dump. Mine and dump. Just wasting for doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're not supporting anything. You're not helping them build an ecosystem. It's just a complete shit coin to mine, dump, take profits, and move on to the next one. Um, yeah, so let's see. I only have 1 million bug no, but I'm leaving it there to see. The, and as they do still get those huge spikes, nice bot life gamer, really nice. nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just point market cap. Let's see who are the biggest movers for today. Let's see if there's any proof of work, uh, coins here. Nope. Looks like the whole market's like poo poo today. Bitcoin's hovering right around 69,000. Cardano is down. Yep, not much to talk about when it comes to the market today. Looks like it was just a crappy day in the market. But, yep, kind of crappy. Nothing to really do there. Um, so, King, if you release that video tomorrow, make sure you guys check it out. It's uh, it's going to be a repasting video on an Ice River unit. It's going to be fucking awesome. Now, just a full disclaimer, and I'll—I uh -oh. got you. We're we're testing it out to see if it's something that we can do, but I don't know if it's possible. King took the initiative and was went to repaste a, a, a machine that we had permission from the client to use and to test it out because he has ten of these. Uh, what is it? Um, it's before we stop taking them, obviously, but it's a. Uh, KS1. KS1, that's what they're called. I was gonna say K1. I don't know why, it's but pretty KS1. much like a GPU rig, right? That's yeah. Right. Yeah. But, but uh Bugna is an L2 and a new and new uh coming this uh later. They are also working on a new explorer while as we speak. Nice. Nerd B says, uh looks like Ton flipped ADA. Did it? Did I miss that? Is mm. that some news? Let's see. I didn't even let me go reload this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ton coin did flip Cardano. Wow. It Ton's in number nine. Cardano's in the number 10 spot. Looks like they, uh, Ton coin got a $3 billion increase in market cap, up 37% on the seven day. Wow. That's impressive. That That's pretty impressive. Solana, damn, 171. Solana moves a lot, man. It moves a lot. They really need to take USDC and USDT out from the rankings. It's so not fair to other projects when it comes to the market cap ranking. Um, yeah. Uh, Crypto Craig says, what do you guys think about the AI project BitTensor TA0? I mean, TA, yeah, yeah. oh my God, sorry. I personally like Subnet31 for healthcare. 
I haven't even looked at that. What is that? You know what that is, King? Nope. I haven't even looked at that project. The only right. one, only one I know is, is, uh, is that node, was it node.ai or node? Yeah, node.ai, right? That's, uh, I, they were talking about it on Altcoin Daily. Um, I don't know much about the project though, currently, but, um, yeah, no, I'm going to look into it. it. There was a, a guy, uh, reached out to me a while ago and he's just been back and forth with me about trying to do some kind of promotion for those guys. So I said, I have to look at it first. So yeah, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do their install to be a host and see how it goes and run and that way i'll put like nv top and like bpy top and see yep. what kind of dockers or if they're even running anything or what they're doing on the you know what they're doing on your rig whatever so i'm gonna well, un- it, was it one of the things that they needed ssh access was that like one of the things Ooh, boy i really don't like that i don't like that either that makes me a little nervous but granted, but granted, can't doesn't vast require SSH access. Don't these people try to SSH well, into the rigs too, though? Yes, they do, but they but they do it uh, in Docker. In this way, it, in Docker, everything is natively like port mapped, right? Right. So you know, like how you open like ports forty thousand to like forty thousand ninety nine or whatever. Right, right. And the ninety nine, the one that is the only one that's open. Well, that's the one that's their SSH port. That's, that's the port that's forwarded for SSH. Right. Um, Docker just, it just, that's all it is, is they just do port mapping and stuff. So I don't, I don't know if you could port map and then say what your SSH is, or you need to directly like, uh, just have 22, which is like, not really great exposing to the world you know what i mean right yeah i don't know i don't know how i feel about it i mean if i do try it i'm gonna put it on obviously gonna vlan it and put a strict firewall on the vlan and uh make sure that you know because you know what i get now on my vast rig and it's just because people are trying to they're running their systems but a ubiquity constantly gets i constantly get the alert that um a network intrusion alert and that's just because I have it VLAN. That's just because they're coming in. Yeah, they're coming in, right? And it keeps blocking that connection. It doesn't let them. Um, So I don't know. um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it, honestly. I just follow the setup guide and VLAN it and make sure that nothing happens. But um, let's see here. So yeah, guys, the back real quick, back to the Alf box. I, I don't even know if it'd be worth it, that little thing for... Just, I could probably sell it for about fifteen thousand eight hundred, oh nine hundred, probably. Right gold around there. shell. It's so crazy. Somebody yeah. clip this right now. Gold shell is selling for fifteen thousand. I it's would so never. Nuts. A little mini box miner. I'm gonna feel so bad for everybody that buys those things, and then if Bitmain comes soon, it's gonna get ugly really, really quick. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, and, uh, I you would... think how companies like that survive, man? Like, it's it's like a race. They it all is. race to develop these things and sell as yep. many as they can before dad comes home and kicks them in the teeth. It's kind of yeah. like what it is. Had strange stuff with my router after running Mysterium VPN node. Says Ontario Miner. Yeah, I did too. I quit running that one. That one ended up doing weird stuff. That's the thing is, is when you're doing like when you're essentially becoming a VPN for other people, you kind of don't know what kind of traffic that they're going to be, you know, putting right. through your router, which could also get flagged by your, by your ISP provider. And then that could also get you in trouble too. So you see um, what retro Mike said, he said, when I, I looked know. at nodes, AI, they require SSH port and also the SSH private key to validate. It was a deal breaker for me. That's really, that's concerning. And, and if it's coming from Mike, it ain't bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was, yeah. So that is, um, that is concerning. It is concerning. Uh, Tyson 
said do you have a geonet deep in miner cost 900 makes nine dollars a day right now mining king the geonet remember frank told us about that a while ago no i didn't get into that and honestly we the even prices went up on it too it's like yeah they're up now. yeah they're up but apparently they're crazy profitable i i didn't get one so, so retro mike could were you not going to do a password ssh you were going to do a ssh uh, key pairs and then just give them the 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 public key i'm not sure that really sucks though man that's see outer mining what's up man yeah i don't yeah, know why don't... they would require that man i really don't want to run it at home now i i can't i might not be able to do that um I got like work stuff there for like the company. Yeah. I can't like risk compromising my network for that. Tonto Bongranto says, I wish we could build ASICs like we build rigs, like GPU rigs. Yeah. Then everybody be out of business. That'd be pretty funny. But imagine, <laughs> you know what's you know what's cool, a cool thing to really think about though? Like imagine if like nobody created an ASIC. It was just all GPU mining, right? And maybe, maybe a little FPGA, like. Imagine how different like the entire crypto mining scene would be. GPUs prices would have never gone down. Imagine if every project was just straight GPU mineable and that's it. It's a crazy thing to think about. TT Mine says, Hot Crypto, does running triple mining affect your internet? Seems like to use more bandwidth, right? Um, hold on one second. Uh, King, if you go through the setup order, page two, username, port, also private key, they give you a provider ID. There's no option for PWD. So they they won't even they won't even let you do a, a password SSH, right? Because you could you could do password and key pairs, or or you could just do a password and or just key pairs. That's it's kind of interesting why they why they force you to do that. Um, uh, so it, it's definitely not a good thing. Mister Pringle said uh, real quick. CT Mine had a question. He said, "Does running triple mining affect your internet? Seems to use more bandwidth, right?" I, I don't see I, what what kind of triple mining though like does it switch the algorithm to a different obviously the different coin and mine it for you know a certain amount of time and then switch the other and switch the other like if it does that I don't really see it using more bandwidth but then again I've never triple mined so I don't know um, but I do I do take an oval vortex stance on the whole uh, triple and dual mining and triple mining which it could be profitable for a lot of people but if you're really trying to contribute to a blockchain it does cause chain instability it is correct it really does and me and me and old board tech really agree on this because i heard him talk about it if you're really trying to support a network you don't want to be triple mining right and honestly i think it's you're using tons more power and are you really yielding that much more i don't know you have to do well, some, some math I, I, on that. I would only say if you're, if the, well, obviously you're only going to triple mine if you're mining like Zill. Um, but right. I mean, dual mining isn't going to affect it though. Like right, you can no, use well, one core in one, on one memory. That's not going to make, that's not, not going to make me. a change. Maybe triple mining no. then. But I'm yeah, but yeah, but mining Zill, right? Because it's, it, it, it's, it turns off the memory algorithm and then it goes, and then it goes to Zill. And after the Zill rounds over, it goes back to that one okay i could i could understand that argument that you're not supporting the network all the way but also in that same sense though the network has plenty of hash rate to support itself bot life gamer says that the alf box from viperia is fifteen thousand two hundred. well i can tell you this that's probably without is it without shipping and duties because if it's not with that you could probably add about five six hundred dollars to that easily um uh they they are expensive though they are exp guys i wouldn't even i don't know man i just don't know if i would spend that kind of money on i think that's insane uh, for, a he goes, I agree. Thanks for, for a little box miner it's so crazy this little thing like makes all kinds of stupid money i do have to repad and repaste my ipolo v1 mini wi-fi i need to do that i do need to do that i should do a video on that that'd be i think that'd be an interesting video um retro mike says i wouldn't risk a potential vlan hopping attack yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I don't, I don't know. Uh, bad ASICs, no, no, ASICs are I'm, stupid. I'm, 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 I'm going to say this about everyone like to. I know Hawk really likes to use this word too, but everyone likes the word VLAN, right? I love that okay. word. All, right. All that means is it's a virtual local area network, right? Mm -hmm. That just means it's another subnet. 
That's all that means, okay? Then you have to make firewall rules to to tell to tell that subnet not to talk to other subnets, right? Don't talk but to strangers. But here's the thing, though, is it they all have gateways, right? Because they have to have a connection to get out, right? Right. And guess where the gateway lives? It lives on the router, right? And the router is natively aware of all of the other routes, even if you tell it not to, right? You can stop the talking from happening, but they could still get back to the router, right? So it's even though you told them not to talk to this other subnet, it's your your security is only going to be as good as your router is, right? Hey, like you guys don't have like a forty gate firewall in front of your ubiquity or micro ticks at home. I have the I have I have something better. I have the panda firewall. That's what I got. The guy who doesn't want to do networking, you know, he retired from networking. He doesn't want to do it anymore. I have the panda <laughs> firewall set up, man. I couldn't even. I was so frustrated the other night. I couldn't even talk to the other rigs. It wouldn't even let me connect to it. I was so pissed. I'm like, Panda, I need help because this is the VLAN. I can't. My my computer, my main driver in my office is supposed to be the, like, go talk to all the other rigs, but they can't talk back to it. And then each other rig won't be able to talk to each other. That's the way I wanted it set up. But I think something happened and I don't know. But Panda in the chat. What's up, Panda? Um, so I like my ubiquity. Um uh but, homebrew crypto says hawk in your case panda is the danger no panda's got my social security look, number I, he'd be fine i won't i won't get into it but i'll say this panda's firewall rule that he said would work for my vlans it didn't work i had to go i had to go figure it out myself so hey it worked for me so yeah I got so, your back, but, panda. but anyways the best scenario would be to have two separate complete different networks that have two separate internet connections and this way if you're if your other AI network gets hacked, right? None of your TV or bank accounts or any of that stuff is even on that same internet, that same fiber connection, separate router, separate switches. That will be your true security. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. Mike, Mike, Mike says, what do you plan on doing with it? Is that, is that from that old commercial with the camel on hump day for Wednesday? It was Mike, 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 hump day. He goes, what do you plan on doing? God, I just pulled a max voltage, didn't I? What do you plan on doing with your profits? Invest more in Terra or buy real estate or more hardware? Just curious. Um, well, Terra right now has, uh, has we, we have a partner in Terra who's, who's investing a lot of money in Terra and it's helping us expand. So as far as us investing physically into Terra, I think that door has shut. We've invested, we, me, King, uh, GPU risers, um, Blue Dragon, we've invested all kinds of money before Frank came in as CEO and really got it to where it is now. And then Frank kind of took over and drove the, the bigger investment to kind of help us really grow the company to where we're going. So, um, as far as, you know, financially investing in the Terra, we don't, we don't, we don't need to do that at this point. Uh, but I think maybe we'd invest in, I don't know, maybe some hardware, maybe building some AI stuff. What would you do with some profits, King? Like right now, what would you invest in? Let's say you, you made $10,000 right now. What would you do with it, King? I would buy probably, Bitcoin, I would Bitcoin, probably Bitcoin, buy, Bitcoin. I would buy 5,000 in, in NVIDIA stock and 5,000 in Tesla stock. All right. I, so, I mean, I'm going to, I mean, that's just me though. And that's just because I need to build up some more of my, I, I dumped a lot of my portfolio to put in, in the company. So mm -hmm. anything I get out of it, I, I put back into my, into my, my stocks and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I could tell you, I could tell you, I, I had everything I had, everything in my bank account. I went down to like 10,000 in my savings account. And that was everything I had left when in the Terra, everything, everything I had. And it was, it was nerve wracking. That first year was a little rough though, King. Like the first year was rough. Yeah. Man. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh man. So many sleepless nights. King calling me at three o'clock in the morning. Hey man, I can't sleep, man. How you doing? I can't sleep either, bro. <laughs> like we're just so stressed out, was stressed out for a while, but it's going the, uh, the right way now. And it's a blessing to be where we are. Homebrew Crypto says, Hawk, five years from now, will you guys be hosting others are hosting Terra's own crypto miners. I think we're just going to remain 
I think we're going to remain for the retail. Honestly, I think I think we're going to remain yeah. that way. And it's the safest I, approach from a company uh, sustainability perspective. Having your own mining equipment can be easier to manage, obviously, because you don't have to deal with so many people. But from a company growth perspective, there are so many people that want to get into crypto mining that really need good electric rates and good, you know, good hosting can't run it in their house. And, you know, it's I think we would always we, stay to the. Yeah, uh, I think I think. You know, this thing, I don't know if he, he's, he's not here tonight, but probably not. Usually, usually he always, uh, he says that we want to be the ones to sell the pickaxes, right? You want to sell the shovels. Yeah. That's the, yeah. that was the, you know, um, you know, I, I, there was a story that I heard about, you know, Donald Trump's father, how he became so rich is, or his, I think his grandfather, I think one of the two, I don't remember exactly, but during the gold rush, uh instead of going after the gold he built the hotels that people had to stay in to wow. uh to while wow, they, they needed were, some place wow. to stay while wow, they're mining right. gold like yeah. seriously like if you think of it from that perspective hosting companies are a lot like that right a lot of people don't want to open a hosting company they have other businesses and things they want to do so don't don't get it twisted like i own an asic king owns asics like we're crypto miners we mine as well but we the majority of what we focus on is hosting so um let's see here um okay uh, see this is the real thing too panda if you gave them look i'm just gonna say this panda if you gave them ssh access i want you to give me the ssh access okay and i run a, I want to run nv top and vpy top and i want to i want to see what kind of docker they're running right i want to i want to see everything that's running on the system okay if you if you have it all right Croup man, what's up, man? Ozzy J, mining and crypto. What's up, man? Welcome to the chat. Um, I think ten to midnight asked for the link to the Terra Discord. I can here. I can do it for you, brother. I got you right here. Um, let's but um, un, for 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 right now, um, until the uh, expansion goes underway and is complete on the on the GPU sector, there we're gonna we're gonna just keep a reservation list. Of yeah, you gotta keep a wait list it. on the on the GPU side because there's no room right now. Yeah, we are we are really full. <laughs> we are really really full. Recruitment um, says, "What are we talking about?" No, nah, just AMA, just shooting the shit. I guess there's we didn't really. Me and King's been really busy, guys. I've been busy, like just haven't had a time to really come up with a topic. But we want to you know keep the show going. So sometimes it's just. Kind of just talking about what's going on and all kinds of stuff but uh, yep so the um just to give everybody an update the terra wyoming site uh which is our new affiliate site is is more of a temporary situation uh while the other site obviously gets worked on uh but it's it's going good um we are we have a lot of spots available in the wyoming site in the container over there so if you guys are interested we do have a six spots open i got about I think we got about like 450 or five 450 to 500 more slots open but they're filling up like i'm getting orders every day which is which is such so cool it really is man i appreciate everybody who supports us true man sex is dude you're not kidding i didn't stream today because i had nothing to say it's you know you get days like that as a youtuber too you know what i mean like i i struggle sometimes trying to find content like what do we talk about like especially like in the bear market like I remember DJ was talking about this. It's like, you know, what do you talk about? You know what I mean? Like when crypto mining kind of took a crap and we all kind of like stopped making videos for like a month or two, you know, there was really not, we did live streams and stuff. Even Panda, Panda was renovating his house. Remember that? Remember like those like two months of just straight up like, like screw you Patrick Murphy and when he was trying to paint his floor, like <laughs> it gets, it just gets like that. It gets like that. I feel um, so bad for Panda, dude. That contractor took him for a ride. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, well, all contractors, man. That they had all about. Yeah, no, that's that was crazy. Northeast crypto mining says, "Will Terra ever create its own mining pool when they get no. even larger?" No. In the future, hey, you don't think no. they're like in the, no? King doesn't like no. mining pools. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Okay, when the pool is running, right? Everyone's getting paid. Everybody <laughs> loves it, right? Everyone <laughs> loves the gravy train, right? Everyone's making the hey and then there's a time where the pool doesn't pay everybody out and then i get like 300 effing pings okay all right i'm like i'm like not even at my freaking laptop and you guys are like pinging me hey where's my payment 
Where's oh my, my payment? It's just yeah. Crypto Craig. No. No <laughs> mining pools. No. Crypto Craig says, what do you think about the BTC having and customers getting half revenue? How does that impact hosting? Um well it doesn't really impact the hosting too much because the majority of our customers are don't have Bitcoin machines. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people know the having was coming. They know that they're in, you know, they have hosting agreements and, you know, a lot of people are going to uh, make adjustments to what they're doing. But a lot of people, I think, are just going to think a lot of people are just going to ride the train, man, and see what happens. Honestly, I don't think anyone's really going to change much. Uh, find a mutual interest and talk crypto when possible, says uh, Richie Rocket. No, of course. <clears throat> Homebrew Crypto says, where's, Hawk, are, what? What? Where's my $2? Did you do a $2 super chat and I didn't see it? I didn't see a super chat. Um, or maybe because maybe we passed it. Hawk, I remember when someone who lost and that who lost it in the Tuesdays were about Terra hosting instead of mining. Do was deep in bear market blues. I remember someone who lost it that Tuesday that Tuesdays were about Terra hosting instead of mining dude oh I don't I don't homebrew crypto can you rephrase that so so I can understand I think I, I understand what you're trying to say uh Panda says don't do pools will Terra hosting come to Australia hmm let me talk to second TL and get back to you on that one Cody says will Terra host my 20 alf boxes probably not uh but we love you Cody and it's all love S Chang says what's next for terra industry terra power solar electric generation to feed terra hosting oh man king would love to design a power grid let me tell you uh anyway we need a terra hosting canada i i you know that idea was sent to panda it yep, was we said hey we want all of the basement space for we, terra. At, I, it was sent he did get the offer but he's too busy i get it uh, I'm joking that, about your pool payout, says Shark Farmer. Uh, um, will will the having affect other coins like Bitcoin Cash, or will they stay? No, it, it it's not. So the only way that it's going to affect them, right? Like, because I know Digibyte's been like more profitable to mine on your on your Bitcoin ASICs. The only way that that's going to be affected is if everybody moves over, right? Then the hash rate's going to increase, difficulty's going to uh, increase, um, uh, but the having itself won't affect that. No. Homebrew Crypto said, sorry to clarify, there was someone who was pissed that Tuesday live streams were about building Terra and you brought them on an event. Yeah, remember? I, I know who that was. I'm not going to call his name, but he came in. He's like, well, you guys, all you guys talk about is Terra, Terra this and Terra that and Terra this and Terra that. No, it was not Joker. It was not him. No, 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 no. It was not Mikel. Mikel is a sweetheart of a guy. It would never. Ne Mikel is one of the biggest supporters, dude. It was not him. It was not it was in him it was not him trust me um is is i know Tara exactly going who it was red panda mining's 20 gp rig i'll tell you what we don't take open frames yeah panda but i will make an exception what yep what do you even make I, an exception for my open air frames and i own 23 percent of the company it's only it's only to see if panda will actually do it because i know he's just lazy and he's not gonna do anything he's he's real lazy is or is it 23 when I remember when I move out to the GPU facility, right? When that happens, and that you send your open air frame, and I will keep it up. Uh, but Kru Kru man, I'm mad at you now because you won't take mine either. Kroot man tech <laughs> said, debating on going to disrupt, you guys throw in a Terra hosting after party. Lol. <laughs> um, I have to talk to Frank. Actually, you know, I started working on the mining disrupt stuff today. Um, and Wait, it's gonna be on, awesome but well, one sec i have to clarify panda no, please, but you please. have to build it first and it has uh, to be operational before you send it which means you have to ship it on the frame together in a giant box with a bunch of peanuts if you guys do not if do you not guys, you ship me peanuts i swear king loves packing peanuts. i will ship the package back to you <laughs> <laughs> king loves packing peanuts guys if you really want to make king's day and really get your rig it up and like the, the minute it can... dude it makes such a mess dude don't do don't do it <laughs> king loves packing peanuts let me tell you he legit called and screamed at me once i'm like i'm sorry i didn't know they put it in there <laughs> it's like fuck you hawk this is your fault you tell people no fucking packing peanuts i'm going right back to the mail center and sending it back i'm like okay <laughs> i'll just let him know go fuck, i'll go fuck myself 
uh, the Florida Shipping Center, bro. No, I know of Abort Tech, but hey, at least those GPUs were well packed when they came from my shipping, my mailing center. Yeah, they um, like packing peanuts too. They yeah. love packing peanuts. No, well, they're cheap though. They're cheap. It's cheaper to put the stuff in there. Um, just use a smaller box. <laughs> just use a smaller box. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to keep up on chat. Uh, Burns says, I remember who it was. Yeah, I'm not going to call him out. I don't want to be that guy, that guy. But he was, uh, if you guys want to talk about anything, it's an AMA. If you guys want us to look up something and talk about it, by all means, just ask me and King. We can look up projects and stuff. Um, um, the text messages I get when I'm CT live. Mine, what's going on? That's uh -huh. that's actually the, the the that 1500 GPU farm. That's the that's the Terra farm. That's not my yeah. personal farm. I wish more like 1700 now, but yeah. Um, what's the what's the power usage on? I can tell. I'll tell you right now. I can tell you right yeah, now. You, yeah, I'm on 200, my lap. 215,000 watts. So about a, almost a quarter of a megawatt. Yeah, about a quarter of a megawatt in there, 215,000. And I got, yeah, I got some more people to put on. So yeah, we'll get close. We'll be close to a quarter. Yeah, I mean, I think they're, um, Cincy Miner says, worst invention in modern history, the packing peanut. Is that what he said to me? Yeah, <laughs> so will Hawk ever grow a majestic beard like that? Guys, <laughs> I have, had my, the longest I ever had, I mean, this is, I guess, the kind of stream we're having tonight. The, the um, the longest I've ever had my beard was like out to here. Okay. And I looked like I was in, um, oh, where was I? I was in, uh, I was in SWAT training and we went to this, we had this thing where I, I grew out my beard so long. We had an operation and I looked like it was so cool though. I looked like one of those, like, and I was in shape too. I looked like one of them Navy SEAL guys, you know, like the long hair and the beard Man, well, I should have went to the military some, when I was young. we got some questions popped up landmine crypto. How you doing, mm -hmm. man? I think you're new. I haven't seen you around. Um, what is your bet for GPU mining algos? Um, algorithms. GPU mining to me is okay. This is this is kind of a, a complex question, right? Like the people who mined like Alethium and like Casper early on. I want you to talk to them right now, right? Is right now they just have a truckload of money. They literally have to drive a dump truck to the bank, right, to go mm -hmm. drop it off. So, are you talking about like daily profits, right? Like Ethereum used to be, because I don't think that's where we're at, right? I don't think it's there, right? And I don't know if it's going to be there. I think GPU mining is going to be similar to CPU mining, where the big profits are going to be mining coins before they get listed. And then when they do get listed, you know, there'll be a price appreciation and then you dump it off, right? Right. There is a couple coins like Caspa and Alethium, you know, that have done well in price, right? And they're they're good to hold for a while. Um, but there hasn't been... I think this bull run is going to be a lot of like, hey, this thing's going to be profitable for a month, right? And then next month it's going to be this other coin. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a stable one. Unless if Flux comes out with their proof of useful work thing this year, um, mm -hmm. which I know they planned on doing, that I think could have price appreciation um, if they have adoption, because that'll drive people to buy Flux, right? To use their platform. Right. Um, I would say for GPU mining, my mine are going to be the ones I like that it that i feel will do will do good will be uh will be radiant and uh flux i can't hear i'm not done yet give me what oh okay yeah give, give me give me a sec and uh and probably yeah i know what you're gonna say i i think it's too late for lithium to mine it right now the rewards are gonna are going down it's not worth it to mine it. You just should just buy it. I wouldn't mine it with GPUs. Uh, real quick, Crypto Craig says, you guys going to make it to the LTC BTC conference in Nashville? I do want to go. Frank has expressed about going and making an appearance as a company. I don't think we're going to get a booth or anything because they're way more expensive than mining disrupt. Um, Fruitman Tech says, you guys at Terra well, letting people triple mine Ironfish on 30 series. So he here's this. Here's how it goes at Terra when it comes to with mining with your own stuff. You can mine whatever you want, but if you crash your shit, 
okay you do it yourself you got to give us time to get it fixed <laughs> we're, we're, Oops, i was wondering where the camera was going i, I was closing it i was turning it off i was yeah, that. Yeah. Is that is that what that was okay i was making yeah, sure yeah. you know i got a little nervous camera moving and shit um uh but 4090 makes half an alf a day I did have them on there. It does pretty good. I think I got like six gig of hash at like 300 something watch. It was pretty impressive on the 490. So, so yeah. So like when you're, when you're triple mine or you're moving your rigs around a lot, right? Like you're chasing profits every day and like it, you know, it goes down a lot or if something's broken, then yeah, you just have to wait to, for it to get fixed. So just kind of keep that in mind. Right. I mean, it's it's just my opinion. Hawk has a different one. He, I'm going to say for that Hawk is, Hawk is going to say Alethium. He's going to say what? Dynex. Sorry, what was the question? And probably Radiant. What was the question your, again? Your, your three GPU coins. Well, Alethium, yeah. I don't know about Dynex. Um, although I do have an interview with uh, Mr. Yeti coming up real soon. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I do want to know what they're doing. It's hard to have a top three because it's... Like, like Dynex would be like in my top five, you know, but that I think are, are, is actually going to do something. But I mean, it's such a subjective argument because it's everyone's got their opinions on everything. I, you know, I, I definitely think Alethium is my number one spot. I think Nexa is actually going to surprise a few people. I, I, I really do. I really oh. believe that. There, um, was, there was another question. Hold on. Um, Oh, Travelers oh, Travels ask. It was a while back. I'm catch. I'm just trying to catch the questions. What do you think about that little Nano Three Avalon thing that everyone's been talking about? That little. I saw a few of them. Desk, I think they're. I think they're cool. I think that this minor thing. These little like like Mars Lander type, like small little like Bitcoin solo miner things. They're cool, man. They're cool. They're not bad. A uh, Crew Man Tech says i was asking because triple mining fish uses more power and than kapow wasn't sure if you hooked up circuits for the gpus the gpus are they, i mean if someone wants to look it's either going to work or it's not and if they crash the rig or something happens or the power we, you know, we shuts allow down. for the full tdp of the 3000 like well you're not supposed to use 3000 but like technically like you know 2400 watts of the rig right because there are 750s in there Right. So yeah, you could pull the the whole thing if you wanted to, and that's that's not a problem, right? One, you're gonna have to worry about temperatures, which I, I am gonna say this is this is gonna be the the mining king piece here for for Terra is gonna be. There's a lot of people who are mining in their home, right? And now you're coming to an open air facility, right? Some of those cards that may have been on the borderline of temperatures, right, are definitely gonna be showing now and will need to be repasted. I suspect within the next month, by the time I come out next time, that there's probably gonna be a lot of requests for repaste. I've already started to see some cards where people are mining, you know, Kapow or Flux or other core intensive algorithms. And during the day, even today, in the 70-ish range, people's cards were, you know, 74, 75, 77. Temperatures are getting up there and we're not even in the summertime yet, right? We're, I don't, is it even technically spring yet? Yeah. Um, yeah. Tonto Bongranto says, do you allow splash top on your own rigs? It would allow for the user to reset their rig if not locked up. Splash top? I don't, I don't, you know, splash top? You know what splash top is? I don't know what splash top is, but um, I'm not sure. Maybe something to look into. Uh, Amplifier Gaming says, what's up? king and hawk what's up man hope that uh i sold him a 3900x and i hope it's working good amplifier gaming if you have any problems man let me know um let's see here looking down the chat gpu riser says what about costco hot dog coin on solana seems promising or maybe dog with hat might be the next apple can somebody I mean, ban gpu risers please and just remove his hey, comment dude, the costco hot saying. dogs dude i i take my kids there all the time at dollar 50 for a hot dog and a soda where are you gonna find what? that it's not days? called a hot dog what does he call them oh uh, well i don't know if that's appropriate here on the stream <laughs> what is it it's called a is it uh, now now you now i'm not gonna say it uh, is it not appropriate he, to say that i thought he calls it was. Them, he calls them glizzies <laughs> yeah i mean i don't i think it's appropriate joker i was kidding oh my god I was joking. <laughs> that was a joke. In 10 seconds, he timed the mouth for. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, 
Oh my God, Joker! Okay, live Joker stream hot dog out. contest, Mike. Don't don't do that. Oh my God, don't do that. Um. So uh, you, hold on. So I'm gonna be honest. Like you guys don't need to like repad every card, and honestly, it's just me out here. So please cool it on the repad jobs. <laughs> Repadding is not always needed. All right, most of the cards just need a repaste. The only time you really need to change the pads if they're like super greasy or there's obviously temperature problems if they're not having temperature problems and it's a core issue uh then you only need to really just repaste the card um, right you can submit a ticket um i don't know how much of that i'll get done this go around um but i might have to i'll probably concentrate on on repasting in the future what do we charge for a repaste i think can he talk uh, again or did, or did he ban mike for 10 minutes no mike's mike can talk mike can talk mike mike has the pricing for it or it's in our it's in the boardroom yeah this this channel. thing what's what's the price of the of repay like yeah. 40 bucks or 50 i don't know something like that second tail mining says how does it we have a couple questions king i want to get down this list I'm, I'm stuck up on the chat um second tail says how does a client go about requesting pasting and padding on gpus they could just open a ticket yeah. um on discord if you don't have the customer roles and um we can oh. they can just make a request there Go ahead. i think it's i think it's either 15 or like 20 bucks a card is, is what it? it is nice all right so let me get down here uh Tonto Juan Ronto said i thought they were gonna say wiener no no <laughs> in in the in the in the pads uh you know you, you have to buy those and stuff like that so uh this is pretty funny frozen crypto says in the navy we call them <laughs> we call them post rockets <laughs> what is the that's face of choice messed up, man that's so messed up what northeast crypto mining asking what pace do i typically use um it's the pace i was using tonight when i was repasting the ice river that i was doing mx4 i need to buy that too i have to repaste my ipolo amplifier gaming says it's been working fantastically I got everything on Unminable and the Ox. I also spun up another pre-search node. Awesome, man. Uh, but sounds too cool for a hot dog. Get a Got a glizzy in my bag, says GP Risers. He says glizzy means actually means Glock. I don't know. 150 watching. Hit the like button, guys. Crypto Craig. Crewman Texas. Hawk Crypto. I have almost 200 GPUs in my shed, and I have repadded. And I have repadded one, and I plan on keeping it that way. Hey man, sometimes you know that's great. Sometimes you know the temperatures are good and you don't run the cards to the ground. Homebrew Crypto says, Hawk, have you guys heard of some mineable coin on Solana called Or? I don't know if it's a scam or legit. I've never heard of it. Uh, repadding doesn't even matter on 95% of GDDR6 memory, says Crute Man. I agree with that. GDDR6 memory is awesome. I think Overboard Tech would agree with you too. Um, no, well, he's saying see. that because of the temperatures. Right, he says it doesn't even matter, right? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. It's a great, no, of course. Yeah, it's great. You don't have to do it. Uh, what about thermal pad grease in the PCI socket? Yeah, Zarkov, great idea, man. Try it. Let me know how it works. Um, Northeast Crypto Mining, what is the pace? Oh, he read he read that already. Okay. Yeah, I have to use, um, I think I'm going to buy some of the MX4 from Arctic. It's Arctic, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's Arctic. Uh, let's see. Overboard Tech says, yeah, only really abused cards or bad quality pads on GDDR5 or 6. Agreed. That's the only time that he thinks it's necessary to uh, repad those. Um, did you guys see this? Uh, there was a video I watched about a, uh, a guy who said you can create a meme coin on Solana in like 10 minutes. Like, I got to find this video. It was a crazy video. And think about this. Like, and, and, and in this video, he talked about, I got to find it. Um, he he said, everybody should create one crypto. Everybody should create really? one. Yeah, he said it should. He, he was like, buying crypto is great. Buying Bitcoin is awesome. But if you really want to secure your wealth, buy your own, buy your own crypto. Or, um, you know, make, make your own. own crypto. Sorry. And I was like, I was actually thinking about doing a video on this and just kind of like, what are you going to do, gonna do the one on, like, on Solana, like the 10 minute one? I was going to. No, I was going to do some research on it and just see, like, what, no. like, you know, like, how is creating your own crypto better than, you know, buying like Bitcoin or investing in other ones, right? Well, because, I mean, if it gets a random ass pump, I mean, and you have just thousands of coins, I mean. Right. But um, 
I mean, I don't know. I think because I mean, it's gonna take some work. You can't, I mean, I mean, yeah, Apparently you can sort of not, picture. Though. I mean, yeah. look, okay, you have to do a little bit of web development, right? Maybe even okay. a WordPress site, whatever. All right. In the UK, okay, you got to get a logo for the damn thing. Okay, easy, got that. Make make some make some bullshit ass white paper of what you think it's gonna do or what you want to GPT. I got all the oh. answers, baby. Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I um, mean, then, then it's then it's gonna be like, how are you to get? I, and then you're gonna have to talk to an exchange to try to get listed. Right. Yeah. No. Right. 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 That's, Retro that's Mike gonna says be, that's gonna be legwork right there. You might find this interesting, King. Retro Mike said Network Chuck did a video on that last year. I should go watch his video on that. No. Yeah. He did. I was gonna watch it. Yeah. And then. Um, then homebrew crypto asks, do server cases before re I don't know what you mean, homebrew. Crypto. Uh do server cases before repadding and repacing. Um, if you have a card that's hot, uh, a server case really does help you direct the air through it. Um, it might help where you don't need to do it, but it's really on a case by case basis. You have to check the temperatures. If you get a server case, you put your GPU in there and the fans are at 100 percent constantly on the case and the gpu is running hot like over six pushing like 70 then you might need a repad and repaste because remember that the, especially octo miners are going to ramp up even if the gpu gets hot right um so amplifier gaming says what's the incentive for a person to create the create a cryptocurrency well this guy was talking about like securing your own wealth and all kinds of stuff i gotta find the video but i think i'm gonna do like my own like opinionated video on that and um and see how it goes retro mike says hot crypto you can create your own token on varus in 30 seconds and three minutes to have a full DeFi liquidity oh, we have to talk mike damn that's crazy on varus you can do that see this is what i'm saying they make it so easy now to create a cryptocurrency like you used to have to hire people and shit. now you just hit i want color blue here upload logo <laughs> upload white paper create <laughs> like it's in, how much do you want <laughs> what exchange you want to be in you know it's crazy Crootman says hot crypto you don't even have to do that that to say this coin's goal is to pump and see what happens when people will go with it because you're honest see i don't want look here's the thing here's the thing like i've debated this like within our community creating like a proof of work coin and really trying to uh really trying to you know just create something and push it right but then like I think once you do something like that, and this is my opinion, it's solely my opinion, I think you cross a line that you can never walk back over, right? So I think no matter what you do, it's a double-edged sword. If you sell, you're criticized. If the project doesn't succeed, you're going to get criticized, right? If, you know, if someone buys a lot and dumps it and you don't, you're going to get criticized. Like, I don't know i work really hard for my youtube and you know my reputation and tara's reputation as well you know we all kind of factor everything in and i just don't i don't think that it's something i i would do uh but it's just interesting to look into like just to see like like how easy it is i guess is the thing i mean creating your own crypto i mean well, yeah I mean, I mean, you go from zero to hero or hero to zero real fast you know in that, this community but, with that i know but 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 this could be the real thing too is like it could just pump even out of not even your own doing all right and then you let's say on the way up you sell and then everyone holds it and then like it takes a huge fall off and then everyone's just going to be like that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying like yeah that's to me it's it's really like if you did it for fun and you decided to disclaimer hey i made this coin for fun you can do this too like right. like an educational thing um i was thinking about doing it just Cause that's mostly what my channel is about is this like teaching shit so this, this is uh this is this is pretty funny i gotta read this king <laughs> um the shark farmer says hawk with hat <laughs> that's pretty good yusuf yeah. says let's do it um scott uh scott sheffield said varus needs to get their crap together with the additional chains first retro mike responds and says is there something wrong several people told me that they've been receiving v a r r r merged mining rewards Todd says, Hawk, don't do it. Homebrew Crypto says, this is a lot of good responses. Let's be honest here. New random mineable coins saved us during the bear market. Paprika coin, anyone? Question mark. Uh, <laughs> uh, Man Tech says, Hawk Crypto. As a YouTuber shilling a coin crosses the line. As a YouTuber, I, I know what he's trying to say. As a YouTuber shilling a coin crosses the line that would be hard to walk back from, especially if it rugs. Saying you're mining something is one thing, but shilling it is totally different. 100% I agree. CT Mind says only issue if the coin goes south, then your business would take a massive hit. I agree. 
Tanto Bongranco says, uh, some shorts go viral. <laughs> Quote unquote, hot crypto mining. Uh, I, Richie Rocket says, I agree with you laying back and digest it. It's just something to look at. I, I mean, I would never, I don't think I'd ever do it, honestly. It's just too much work. And then all the red tape, I would have to bother GPU risers about taxes and he would hate me and it's not worth it. Um, RPM coin, 99% pre-mine and people will still buy it while I sell and probably still buy it after Red Panda. And, then, and you know what, Panda? You could rug the whole project and they would still love you. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> um, Terra Hawk coin. Um, oh my God, Labyrinth coin. Love you, King. I said that was a rug pull. I did a video on, the, on these rug pulls and I think I got... I think I got like five out of six or four out of five, I think, of them were rug pulls. It's one of my old videos. I mean, all ended up being rug pulls. Uh, Crewman text Panda could run and then show his face and all would be forgiven. That's what I'm saying. He could, it's exactly what he, he could rug it and show his face and be forgiven. 100%. Someone make a nerfed coin, no max supply. Uh, fair launch would be what gets everyone. Nerf coin, trade mints, five more coin. Oh my God. Where's Panda's Tangem wallet? Says Yusuf. Um, I mean, it's, but it's so crazy though. Like, I wonder how, like, I always wonder like how these like 17, 18 year old kids become these crypto millionaires, right? And it's because they're creating shit coins. They get all their buddies. They run a mark. Listen to this though. Think about this for a second, King, right? Really think about yeah. it from like a, from a money perspective. Like, like you create a coin right you you dump twenty thirty thousand dollars in promo and in like bitcoin you know you get into bitcoin talk you get on the youtubes you know you get you go around you, you dump even if you dumped a hundred grand in promo right let's just say you did that hundred thousand let's make the numbers easy that coin pumps two three thousand percent because of the hype that hundred thousand investment for whatever you plus whatever you spent to create the coin could be millions like, I'm wondering how these kids with no education can barely finish a sentence are creating our, our millionaires. And this is what they're doing. This is what they're doing. They're suckering these poor people in, to, you know, these moonshot coins, they moon and, you know, these trillion dollar, no, sorry, trillion uh, uh, coin liquidity, whatever cap on these coins. And it's it's just ridiculous. Landmine Crypto says Chat GPT could write the code for the meme coin algo. I mean, as a YouTuber creating, as a YouTuber creating like a proof of work coin, like it's got to be done perfectly. Like it has to be done perfectly. Like it, you, you know, because you're gonna get criticized for everything. Crewman says Hawk, and it's unregulated, so there's zero blowback. Think about it. We tried to take our crypto trading habits to day trading. That's the, but that's the thing. Like anybody can do this and create a coin and get rich AF. And I mean, I don't know, man. Homebrew Crypto has a good question. He says, Hawk, do you think Bitmain is scrambling uh, to up their ALF ASIC hash rate because of gold shell? Hell no. I think Bitmain's just sitting there going like this. That's right. Waste your money. Waste your money. Waste your money. It's going to be wait. like the Katie Max, dude. It's going to be just that wait. all over again. It's going to be so... I'm, I is feel anybody, so... I got, I, got, I got a perfect analogy, King. You ready for this? Yeah. Is anybody playing Helldivers? If you're playing Helldivers, here's a perfect analogy. This is Gold Shell. Gold Shell is the guy running from all the bugs in the, the Beal Titan, the Bile Titan, and he, you, you know he's throwing sentries around and trying to kill a bunch of bugs, and he's just maintaining. He's barely alive. Bitmain is like King who, who joins the match, flies down and throws in a 500 pound bomb and kills everything, including your sentries. That's the, probably the most perfect analogy that I can give you as far as <laughs> Bitmain going into gold shell. So yeah, it's gonna happen. Bitmain's gonna come in and throw a stratagem for a 500 pound bomb and it's gonna be all over and it's just gonna annihilate the market. Uh, Patrick Murphy says, watch be a Heza's video, make a million dollar meme coin in an hour. That's insane. I almost just want to do it. Like, and I probably, you know, do it. Don't say nothing on YouTube about it. And just, you know, hey guys, what's this? I, you know, I, it's I, like, it's so tempting to do. What algo would you do? Would you go proof of stake? Well, uh -oh. if I created a coin, I don't know. <laughs> that king sounds like, it. yeah, he does do that. I'm just kidding. 
to uh retro mike says um well first of all second tl says what algo would you use would you go proof of stake i, I don't know if i was to create a coin I'd, I'd go to proof of work proof of work is so robust man that you know the network will always be up you could always operate your own network it's really in your hands uh no desert i'm not creating a meme coin and no you can't buy it uh retro mike says tokens are super easy it's why ethan solana have been successful creating your own blockchain is wildly different that's why helium and others moved to a token yeah i think yeah creating a token i guess sorry crypto token coin whatever um so um gold shell shooting king and he drops a 500 pound in terms a bomb on me in terms of health yes right exactly and we all die and he's got to call us back in uh let's see the price that, that was the time that he killed me in hell divers <laughs> i did i i king got so mad you got so mad at me one night you were trying to set off something and i called in an airstrike when i first started and you're like no fuck no no i fucking hate you um <laughs> i stayed alive the whole time to only to kill everything and then to be killed I, by you yeah i i, I sent in a uh a bomb <laughs> oh, i need more coffee bro i'm so tired um Yusuf Putz says the price of uh Alpha went up huge today. Yeah, it did, man. Uh let's see. Crootman says hot crypto. Not to make this political, but if you look at Truth Social's stock listing price, we're like, what like WTF, how is it worth that much? And I was telling someone it's just another cast before. <laughs> 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 uh, that's pretty funny. Um I think uh Bot Life Gamer says do it, Hawk. No, I don't think I could, man. I don't think I could. I don't think, I don't know. I have too much going on to, to even think about doing anything remotely close to that. Patrick, what did you send me? He sent me the video, make a million dollar meme coin in an hour. That's insane, man. It's like, no wonder these dudes are making, raking in money. Like uh, Homebrew Crypto, thanks for the $1.99 super chat. ICO dot nodes or nudes dot IO. <laughs> that's, God, that's so crazy. Uh, thanks for the super chat, man um red panda what is panda talk while he's responding to someone coffee after nap is much needed yeah dude i'm exhausted i, I got up mad early this morning the king i called king he's like whoa am i dreaming like are you awake i'm like yeah i'm awake um i had to get up early had a lot of stuff to do uh today so um check in chat i make more caspa coins Mining altcoins, dumping in the Casper, better than crappy KSO Pro. Yeah, KSO Pro, that ship is sailed and sunk. Don't buy any KSO Pros. Pierre Hardware says, do you think ASICs will come to Radiant soon? Yes, I think that's on the horizon. Uh, Radiant is a great project and really primed for ASICs. I think Radiant will do well with uh, ASICs. Right now, there's FPGAs on private bit streams. Retro Mike has more info about that, but um, yeah. Patrick Murphy says, worth the watch. Yeah, I'm going to watch this video. Um, did you guys see the eclipse yesterday in totality? I did not. I could care less. I've seen a couple of them already. Um, I just was working all day. I studied astrophysics in school, so it's, it's not really like a thing for me. Joker Miner said, Hawk oh, Crypto went to daughter's soccer practice and her coaches have never coached. Now I am the head coach. <laughs> <laughs> said run fuckers. Uh, oh, I could just see that. I could totally see that. <laughs> <laughs> how long is king staying in kansas alvaro deras what's up man uh king what, what's your schedule there about 10 two days for two weeks yep two weeks yep he'll, he'll might... get everybody done guys don't worry he'll, he'll he'll work he'll work diligently on it just give him some time retro mike is busy hacking pandas network okay please do let me know what you find man let me know what you find a buck a day is a buck a bt is a buck of btc tech man tie two weeks on two weeks off you know what i don't know i was thinking i don't know if it would be more worth it because there's all these cast forks coming out right king take take the stage real quick put yourself on screen yeah. i gotta get another coffee i'm dying here all right how do i do this here there we go i was thinking about this buying a kso pro just to solo mine all these like k heavy shit coins that are obviously just going to keep pumping out right and just get it just get in you know early on you know what i mean um or i could do mining rig rentals but i mean the kso pro is like not that expensive so um i just don't know if it's worth it or not what do you guys think about that good luck working through nine <laughs> Uh, 
Crute man says he has one. Okay, so I'm bug now when it's <sighs> sorry. One on Cedra, one on Caspa. Yes, building bags of Bugna and Cedra along with Caspa on my KSOs. Yusuf says it's not worth it. And then Tonto says my KSOs have never left Caspa. Yeah, I would totally buy this not to mine Caspa. Like, it would just be like I would buy one just like as a speculative play, right? Like, I would like just throw it on like for like a month on these like, you know, crap coins. And just if it does something, that's great. If not, then who gives an F, right? Yeah, to me, I mean, it, it pulls as much power as a low wattage like GPU. So, yeah, right, I'm back. I was I was thinking about it. Mark says, please fix Octominer 9. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mark. Paging um, the Mining King. Mining King, please report to aisle I mean, Octominer okay. 9. He, he, he brought it up live, Mark, about <laughs> OM9. I'm sure Hawk hasn't talked to you yet today, but OM9 is is an X12 that's going to need a heart transplant. The, <laughs> it's going to need a heart transplant. The motherboard, the motherboard has died, or there's motherboard issues. So I have to take it completely off the rack and rebuild it. So unfortunately, issues like that, I just I do like one of those a day because if I just stick on really major problem rigs like that, it just takes up a lot of time. I have a lot of deployments to get through. And oh, Panda. There you go. oh I got to do this. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is better, you, actually. Let's leave it there. You, you don't like it like you like it like ah, that? That's, this is better. Yeah, it's full screen. Okay. I like it. To put some eye drops in now i'm tired as hell um uh yeah, what did I miss? yeah don't worry Sorry. about it Max. I, I will i will get to it i have a few x12s there in the boneyard that um i could i think harvest some parts from so i'll try to get it back up and then five dollars super chat from mr hollywood should change your name to hotel to room king <laughs> <laughs> what's up b um <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. So, no, Mark, you're not bothering us, man. You're awesome. Mark Mark is one of the best. Mark's one of my original clients that I had at when yeah, I had yeah. my own hosting company. Mark's been around a while. Mark is a great client. We love Mark. Um, yeah, just never uh, a bother. You always call me any time of the night. You know that, man. Um, yeah. You know my phone number. Don't, don't worry, Mark. I think Mark. that's a good thing. I, I, uh, I, I know about it, but yeah, it needs... It needs more more love than just a hard reboot, unfortunately. I think he got a bad batch of X12s because that's not the first one he had a problem with, and we had to we had to replace it. Um, Ten to midnight says you guys hosting S21s. Yes, we are. Uh, let me know what you want to do. Ten to midnight, you can hit me up in Discord if you want. Uh, shout out to real quick. I gotta give a quick shout out. Shout out to Django. I know he's probably not watching, but uh, he gave me the original design for the shirts that he made for us. Remember when you, you, you had a good one, the crown with like the inside of the inside of the crown. Oh yeah. That's the one that the Django made for me. I kind of like that one. You still don't have Joker. You don't have my cell phone number. I thought you did. Um, uh, he, he gave me the design. He's going to allow me to put it on my store and sell it. I'm going to leave the signature for his brother on the bottom of it. Obviously show some respect, but it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Can't wait to, uh, put that up there. What is Panda saying? Hawk King, can you pay me 200000 a year and I will gladly leave everything behind and work for Terra. I will rename my YouTube channel Terra Panda Hosting LLC. Unfortunately, look, look, Panda. At, look at Mike. Mike's the finance guy. Mike said yes. Mike doesn't even buy Mike doesn't even buy a large drink okay, because he thinks look, it's too much money. Look, he buys a small and just gets um, refills. He's that guy. Okay. CFO or, you know, COO, whatever which one you are right now, I need to talk to you after the stream because... <laughs> You could see, look, I know you see this from a marketing perspective, right? That Panda would be great from the marketing side, but his his work ethic and what he leaves <laughs> around late on the floor of all this incomplete work that he never gets to, I'm kind of questioning his work ethic at this point. Oh, my God. Poor Panda. <laughs> Poor Panda. Uh, Don't get me wrong. I love Panda and live next to me. That'd be awesome. He goes done. I just I would I just I want to live in the facility. You don't want to live in the, in the facility. Man, it's noisy and it's annoying. Um, two hundred grand a year. That's that's a lot. What's that in Canadian? Like a million? It's like a million dollars or something. 
two hundred thousand a year Canadian dude. That's gotta be like twenty million dollars Canadian. Yeah, it's like that's what I'm saying. It's like twenty million dollars. <laughs> like, uh, so I uh, I'm gonna put this design. Look at this design. Do you guys remember these designs? I'm gonna show it on screen. Oh wow, hold on. I'm gonna show it on screen real quick. These were the designs that Django came up with when we did this giveaway. It was over a year ago now. Um, but I'm going to put this on a t-shirt. I know Second TL has been asking me about this, so I actually hit up uh, Django. Django gave it to me. Um, hey, I don't need to make videos. Work at, worth at, Hey, if I don't need to make you videos... Know, work we're we're going to be doing a quiz, okay? We're going to see how well you can work on the Octominers. We got to see. You gotta, you're going to have a, a training period. <laughs> what do you what do you what do you want panda you, you tag you're gonna hell dive tonight you're gonna leave me hanging i'm gonna put this uh back on oh you can't see it for some reason the hawk crypto because it's a png on a background that's white i don't okay hold on but that's that's not what it's supposed to look like hold on a sec let me hold on just 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 hold on i think that's because it's it's a, like a white screen uh i don't know how to change the background color Maybe like a dark mode probably would have done it, but hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, if I open it real quick, hold on a sec. Yeah. How do you do that? How are you gonna go ahead? Panda, right, real Panda quick. you need to you need to get everything off the floor and 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 built and in working condition. Here we go. Here we okay. talk. Let me see. This <laughs> is it right here. That's for some reason I I don't know why that was like that. Here we go. There you go. Okay, you can put it up. This is the design that Django oh. came up with for the shirt. Now, I'm going to leave his signature down here on the shirt because I think that's respect. He gave it to me for free. He didn't have to do that. So I'm going to leave it down there because he told me I can remove it, but I'm not going to do that. It's all love. Uh, so, but this is the shirt that Second TL has been like wanting me to put on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the store and sell it. Wow. Panda. Jeez, that's weird. Um, yeah. I so, like it. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see can can we work from home for terraces zarkov probably not joker Meyer says i would work at terra in kansas yeah terra panda hosting llc has a ring to it says desert miner uh yeah it does i actually yeah, does. i actually have mining king shirts you uh, still have I, the you still have the do you want you want me to create the oh you have a store what am i talking do you have a fourth wall store I don't know if that's that's not what it's called. I think it's it's connected to my YouTube directly though. It works with yeah. YouTube. I did mine too. I did it through Fourth well, Wall though. I think it's Spread Shop or I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, not Print Shop. No, no. Because Frank was telling me about one today that was called Print Shop or I something. Think he wants I think me to tell us. Spread Shop is what it is, and it integrates directly with YouTube. That's the best part. So that was like so when I looked at Fourth Wall, I was like, wow, they do the domain for you. They give you the design. They take care of everything, and all you do is you tack your price in. And there's only there's a minimum that you you have to put. Crypto four forty says, "Should I come to mining disrupt? Is it worth it?" Well, we're gonna be there, so it's worth it. Number one, number two, disrupt's gonna be huge this year because it's gonna be post having, and there's gonna be a lot of people looking to buy units and expand. And there's a lot of people going. You want to go over the map for disrupt? Actually, we can pull up the site yeah. map. I'll show you guys who's gonna be there if you guys want to do that. Yeah, that second tail, that hat's a custom hat, actually. A buddy of mine had that hat made for me. Yeah. His uh it was his girlfriend's brother. He does custom embroidery work. Oh nice. He had, he had the I haven't worn the hat in a while. I'll have, I'll have to put it on the next time I'm out. Bot Life Gamer says people don't be sleeping on the Canan Avalon A1466 Bitcoin miner. You can get two for the price of an S21 if you do hosting. I think I think Canon works with uh, Foreman, but I'm not sure. Um, Crewman Tech says, "Hot crypto working in a shed has led me to realize the worst job ever may be running a mining farm 24/7. At least when I'm mad at my shed, I can just not work on it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're mad at, at like a rig that's not working for a client, you got to sit there until it's fixed or wait till the next day. Pretty. Uh, pretty sure your empire will grow worldwide with networking connections you have. Grats, Terra, Landmine, Crypto. Thanks, man. I, you know, it's we work every day at it, legitimately every day. I don't think we, none of us, have had a day off um, in a long time. Um, but uh, I will yeah. be taking some time off when I go get home finally, because it'll be like three and it'll a be half. Your birthday too, right? It's gonna be your birthday yeah. when you get home day after. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take my 
my kids camping or something. Nice. You should. Definitely should. Um, do you have any international customers? Oh, yeah. I just actually got a customer from the Netherlands uh, who was... Um, <laughs> it was such a... So crazy because his his shipment got stuck in DHL and I had I I, I did him a solid and we had I had to take care of the uh, the import taxes because we're the importer like we're bringing it over right so he shipped it from there but I'm receiving it so I have to I had to take care of that for him it was no big deal but um, it was cheaper than I thought honestly like I think he put like a seven or eight thousand dollar value on his package and it was only like 130 bucks for import so it wasn't wasn't terrible yeah. I was, we I think I'm scarred just because of China, 25%. I, I automatically go to a 25% all the time. I think of imports, and it just it gives me nightmares. You um, won't get into the packaging job, though. <laughs> yeah, packaging. Yeah, everybody needs to package their GPUs a little bit better, to be honest. But he did damage one of his fans, but it's not a big deal. The cases are cooler, I, probably more. A little I bit haven't funny. even opened the box all the way, and I feel bad for this guy, but, like, he put all of his gpus like next to each other with only you know like that really small bubble wrap right he put this one layer in between it and all the gpus are just like huddled together right. yeah and multi-layered like right and the so, box was like half open from ghl it was it's a rough box um brandon coin hit me up and asked me if we're gonna play hell divers i said yep um I gotta see, man, because the internet's like not good here, and the internet isn't like super great at the facility either, because it's just for mining. So it's like, I would, I, I am missing playing Hell Divers at the data center <laughs> yeah. with a fiber card in the computer. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's the, oh, that, that this internet Intel connection. internet is so awful. I don't know how you people how people live out of these things. They're like, yeah, we have. We have high, you know, we have Wi-Fi here. You're guaranteed like two and a half megs up and down. It's great. Yeah, it's awful. So bad. So bad. All right, guys, we'll go for about five more minutes, um, and then uh, then we're gonna sign off here. Uh, Zarkov, well, you just retracted your message. I was gonna read it. Um, every hotel is a hit or miss if you can even connect. Yeah, I know it, it sucks. Like I always call ahead when I go places too, but this is going to sound very bougie of me, but like there's a, a couple Marriott hotels that are known like business hotels, the business hotels, like the, the ones that are tied to like convention centers, they typically have great internet because there's a lot of people there that use the internet. So they typically have really good internet connections. Just, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, running a business, man, like you never really do get a day. You never really do get days off, man. It's it's an everyday thing when you're a business owner and it's it's part of the grind, you know. Yeah, you can create your own your own hours and stuff, but it gets rough, man. It gets rough. Max Voltage says I'm going I'm going Helldiver now. Been talking to my sister about my dad's taxes for the last hour. Good times, good times. GP Rise is hot crypto. You have to pay five dollars and ninety-five cents for high speed internet. Yeah, so what, Mike? So what? Stop being cheap and pay the six dollars and get internet mike would like like mike would just like get like a little like antenna and stick it out the window and hold it like this to send a text message if it saved him three dollars like ugh. uh he, <laughs> but he's a good guy to have in finance though unfortunately actually at this hotel they don't even have the option to upgrade or else i would just do it mm -hmm. uh zarkov says make sure you have some time off to avoid burnout yeah i do man i try i try to take sundays off but my phone always rings so i kind of just manage my time a little bit uh keith bet says well i talked to two workers and so far mr jimmy called me and do the background check i hope tomorrow and the two weeks training have them all over arkansas and texas red already oh, talking to panda uh crypto frank what's up man very weird how gpu risers and this i mean this thing and frank come into the chat right around the same time as i'm suspect I think, they're probably talking they're, to each other they're, well they're they're seeing if you're leaking anything <laughs> too late just kidding um <laughs> uh what's up frank um so if you guys have any questions for me and king uh let me know uh let's see close up king reminds me of shake re and star trek five <laughs> 
Hey, King, when are you gonna you gonna trim down the beard, do the part again? What happened to corporate King? That was like, what happened to that guy? Where I gotta find a picture of this guy. Where where is this video? I gotta find it. You guys gotta I, see this. If you guys haven't seen this, corporate look, every King time I, is I every time I look every time I did my hair like that, like a little bit of me it. died inside. I'm not even gonna lie. I gotta find it. Corporate King, here it is. Here's court. Oh yes, I just landed on the video out of luck. Is it, is, the, corporate is it the King. one of our own hundred dollar bill or whatever? Look, oh, and I stopped it at a perfect spot. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold oh, on. I can't. I can't see the screen share. I'm Hold sorry. On. It's not there. No, no. Yeah, you can. You'll see it right here. Boom. There it is. I'm gonna put it in theater <laughs> mode for you. Corporate <laughs> King, right here. This is the guy. Yeah. Corporate. This is what I call Corporate King. That's his name. And it's amazing. Guys, come on, 22 in chat right now, if King should no. get back to this look. Tell him that this is, he doesn't believe it from me. Tell him that this look is awesome on him. Tell like him, it. seriously, because he doesn't believe me. And be honest, be honest. What I, look do you like? Do you like this? Do you like hotel room King? Or do yes. you like corporate King? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I look at all the 22s, dude. I'm telling you, this look on you, I, when oh, he did well, this, I was they, like, yeah. I seen, I seen a negative 22. <laughs> Don't put negative. See, they're they're with me on this. He looks like a, a distinguished gentleman. Like, look at this distinguished gentleman over here. Like, all he's got to do is get his beard like twisted up a little bit, and it would be perfect. Uh, this I looks can't. super prov provisional. Second tail mining. Did you go for an interview on this day? I don't, I don't know. I think King was trying something different. I like this King right here. This is the King, corporate King. Is what I call it. It's what I like. I Yusuf can't. says either works fine. Nope. I want corporate King. I want this look. I like it when you shorten the beard, had the part. Yes, all day long. You walk in Miami like that, forget it. It's all over. 22, I see a cigar and whiskey with this version, says Crypto Frank. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I see, I can't even do my hair. I used to be able to do my hair like that. Now I just, you know, I just, whatever. Make it look neat. I don't know. I do a part now, it's gonna look funny. Because, you know. Yeah, see, that's that's what it sounds. That's right, Kyle Rogers sounds like a dress code. I don't it's like not, dress codes. It's not a dress code, man. It's it's professional. It looks nice. Like it's not like you know what I'm saying. Like it fits. It fits. <laughs> it fits you better. I I don't, I don't know how to explain. It looks like no, he's trying like, to sell me like, something. I need to trim my mustache and my beard right now because it's getting a little bit. But it's like I, I can't. I don't. I didn't like that hair. Dude. Like I looked at myself and. I look in the mirror and I just a little bit of me died. Yusuf, no, I'm not getting any gold chill. Um, King, where's, where's that picture where you didn't have a beard? Has anybody seen this? <laughs> Remember that picture? <laughs> didn't even look like you. I was like, no. And it's him. Do you have that picture? Is it laying around? I don't even know where it is. Um, I don't know if I have it. Let me see. I think uh, I might I have, have it. I would have to go look for it, but I mean, yeah. I'd... King uh, without a beard is is like like <laughs> almost as important as a panda face reveal. I think I think I have it. Let me see. I, I definitely I, I have probably, it somewhere. I would probably have to go on my Facebook and do that. You guys want to see a very funny picture of this thing? So so <laughs> so as you guys know, Mr. GPU Risers is the um, if you don't know this. This thing from GPU Risers is the my son's godfather. He christened my son. Um, me and Mike have become real close. We're good friends. And but Mike, when we went <laughs> when we went to the christening, Mike didn't just he didn't know what to. I don't think he just knew what to do with his hands. He was just so like confused and lost. This was the <laughs> he was <laughs> he was holding a candle and he couldn't he couldn't contain himself. And this was probably one of the funniest pictures I have um, of this. Is he still in the chat? He's got to be. He's got to be. Mike, I'm going to show this picture. Is that OK? <laughs> uh, I think Panda has his face in reflection on one of his videos. Did he show up in a tracksuit? No, he didn't show up in a tracksuit. But look at this. This was probably one of the funniest pictures of this thing okay. I, I have. Here OK, I, thought, I had to find I had to find it on, on face. <laughs> Look at this thing, bro. He's so confused. <laughs> he yeah. goes, I'm leaving now. Oh, you got it? You got it? Oh, guys, hold on. Go on the main screen. Go on full screen. Go on full screen. Go full screen. 
Look at this picture of King without a beard, guys. It doesn't even look like him. That's not you. That that's, was... a, that's a clone. Okay, that was the first off. That was at Comic Con, right? I went to Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> um, that was like, it's like ten years ago or something. You said right? Yeah, something it's like at least it's at least ten. Yeah. So he goes almost looks like Jeff Key. Oh no! Tato Bong Rat, that's messed up. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it just like you know how like a beard changes like some people a lot like me without a beard i kind of look the same right but like king with a beard it looks like like completely like two different people it's just oh, yeah, some so people here, have here, that here's another here's another good here's another good photo this is see what you got. this what is, is uh this is this is what my co-workers did to me at my galvanizing plant for my birthday what kind of car is that is that an integra it's a 95 uh civic ej oh nice with, with a with a LSV tech in it, LS tech. Oh my God, V tech. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. They um, uh, they shrink wrap. Hey, they shrink wrap my door shut. <laughs> fuck, you have stubble. What is stubble? What oh, this? I can I can I can really grow a beard, guys. I don't like to do that. Um, I don't like a big beard. I mean, for me, it doesn't look. I mean, I can do it, but. Like my hair is curly, so like it doesn't like is that King's got like straighter, like wavy hair. My hair is like ultra curly, so if I you know if I do it, it doesn't look right. I really have to like pull it out. Excuse me. Um, but all right, guys. Well, I guess if you don't have any more questions for me and King, we're gonna wrap it up. If you guys want to come into the Misfit Mining Discord, I think Brandon Coin is in there right now, and we're gonna go um, and we're gonna go in there and. Uh, play some hell divers i think i'm all done with my work today i don't think i have any more orders or anything so i am going to go and relax for a little bit you guys are more than welcome to come in and hang out with us in the misfit mining discord channel um and we'll see you guys there all right thanks for hanging appreciate out with all you guys. guys have a great night subscribe hit the notification bell if you didn't hit the like button i'll see you next week on my channel and shout out to king real quick He's over 9,000 subs. He's trying to race me in subs right now. I'm a little bit ahead, but he's catching up. I just hit over 10K and it's growing like crazy. Come join us, guys. Great content coming. See you soon. Peace, King. Hit that end button, bro. We got to go.